country thanks you, and I thank you. Captain's a good man. He's gonna take care of things. I ain't so sure about that, Cody. You know, it's kind of funny how folks are willing to die for the likes of me. But not willing to let me fight alongside them. He's gonna be fine. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about what? I said he's gonna be fine. Noah? 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 Don't you die on me, damn it, Noah! You did what you could, Cody. Now we gotta go. Man that is born of a woman hath but a short time to live and is full of misery. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom may we seek for succor but of thee, O Lord, for who our sins thou art justly displeased, O Lord, most mighty, O holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us not into the pains of eternal death, but to life everlasting. Amen. 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 I guess uh, I guess I've seen more than my fair share of funerals. Kind of got used to them. Seemed like there was a natural part of life. But this, this here, this ain't natural. What's happening around us ain't natural. Our nation's being divided. Friends are turning against friends. Family against family. And it's all leading to the same place. And that place is here, in cemeteries like this, with grief-stricken friends and family like this, young lives cut short long before their time. We're allowing ourselves to be ripped apart. And I'm telling you right now, if we don't start thinking about healing instead of killing, we're going to lose everything. Our homes, our, our friends, our families. Whether you knew Noah Dixon or not, his passing should mean as much to you as those of us who considered him our friend part of our family. God bless you, son.